to daily manna. Who will feed in your faith and starve in your doubts. I am your host once again for the day. Today we're still in Romans chapter 5. Today we're going to read verses 6 through 11. The Bible reads, you see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this, that yet while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we now have been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath? Through him. For if while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we also boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, <clears throat> through whom we have now received reconciliation. Oh, people of God, this is a very good and interesting text. Because in this particular scripture, Paul is sharing with us God's true love for us. That we sometimes don't realize that the love God has for us has no strings attached to it. Paul tells us that at the right time when we were powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. But then Paul breaks that down into elementary terms. He lets us know that very seldom would anybody die for somebody that's righteous, somebody that always does the right thing. But maybe a person that is just good, someone might possibly think about dying for them. But here we have Jesus who died for people who were unrighteous, people who were sinners, people that didn't love him, people that didn't care about him. When we were enemies to him, he died for us. Who that's saying a lot. Christ died for us even though we wasn't right with him and we wasn't doing everything that we were supposed to do. I, I'm going to just put myself out there. I'm going to tell you. I'm speaking about me. I know Christ had to hang on the cross for me. I don't know about nobody else because everybody else is probably perfect, but I'm talking about me. <clears throat> that yet while I was still a sinner, Christ loved me and loved you so much that he died for you. His love for us cannot be matched. And that's the love we got to have for everybody. He's trying to teach us we need to love everybody regardless of what happens, regardless of what they do, we still need to love them. And in loving them, it will help to change them. So let me ask you a question. Do you love your enemies? Do you pray for your enemies? Here, Jesus sets the perfect example. He dies on a cross for people that didn't love him. He died on a cross for all of us that are ungodly. So if we are supposed to be more like Jesus <clears throat> every day, shouldn't we love everybody no matter what they do, no matter what they say? Oh, no, I understand it's hard. It's hard loving people that, that, that don't like you and say things about you. But we got to be more like Christ. We got to help to change this world. And the only thing that's going to change it is the, having that same love that Christ had for us. So if you don't remember anything, just know that Jesus loved you so much. That yet while we were all still sinners, he died for us. Well, we're out of time, but we're not out of word. Look forward to seeing you here tomorrow at the same time on the Daily Manor 
or within your faith to solve your doubts. Be blessed.